video I'm going to show you how to make origami paper which is called double tissue. You need two sheets of tissue paper which is very thin and you can't just fold with it like that, at least not easily. And you want to align the two sheets as accurately as possible because then you can cut more origami paper from it. So you've got that. Now you need some plaster. Um, this is the plaster I use. I just went into a hardware store um, and got a, a very normal plaster. Um, the main thing you need to look for is that it's, um, it's powder and uh, the main ingredient or one of the ingredients at least, uh, it at least is methyl cellulose or however you pronounce that. Um, and then you can just take a glass and mix some of it and it can be quite thickish so just put in some water and maybe this is a, um, a tablespoon or maybe a bit more, maybe a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of, um, of this powder and then you can just close it up and shake it and then there'll be bubbles in it uh, but those will go away once you just let it rest. Um, if there is small lumps in it, uh, you have to shake it again or you have to stir it a bit so you don't want, want any lumps in there. Then uh, you're going to take, let me move that out of the way, you have a glass surface on which you want to work because it's very easy um, to clean afterwards and it just basically has to be a very um, smooth surface um, so that it won't, the paper won't have any texture. If you want texture, you can use a textured uh, underground, but you also have to be careful that you can pull off the paper afterwards, so it should be something that cannot absorb moisture, and glass doesn't do that. I just use a picture frame. So now we're going to take a small mixing bowl and put a bit of this thick plaster in it, and then take some water, and thin it down. Uh, I've got a brush here. I'm just going to use that brush to mix it up a bit. And I think that's not quite enough plaster yet. Pour a bit more in. So this is very convenient. You just mix plaster and then you can store it. I just keep it on my shelf. Um, you want to look for um, a consistency of egg white or a bit thinner than egg white. I, I usually go a bit thinner than egg white, I think. If you go too thin, the paper is going to be too soft. If you, if you go too thick, the, the paper is going to be thicker. And um, for complex models, you want thin paper. Now you align the paper and you smooth it out. Now take the plaster, the thin down plaster, and then you just put it on there with nice smooth strokes. And you might have to pull on the edge so that you don't get wrinkles in there because those wrinkles will be visible in the paper in the end. I'm using quite thin plaster right now. Uh, you might want to use a bit thicker plaster but trying it out is probably the best way also depends on what you want to fold. As I mentioned, the more plaster you use, the thicker the paper is going to be. Um, the less plaster you use, uh, the less strong it's going to be. And it's going to be softer and it's going to be harder to fold with. So there's a trade-off. And as you can see, I always start the stroke in the middle because like that you're pushing 
um, you're pushing bubbles out to the side um, so that there's only few bubbles in the resulting paper. Almost done here, and the plus plaster is almost gone too. Let's see. You see some texture from the way that you used the brush, um, but not much. Um, if you if you want that effect, you could probably try uh, using thicker plaster and really putting texture in there. Um, you'll see some bubbles probably, um, but that's fine. So we've got all the plaster on here now. Just pushing out some bubbles here, but don't work the paper too much else it's going to get thinner in that spot. Um, the color is not going to be uh, absolutely solid now anymore. Like you, you can see um, that the color has spread and that's because this is bleeding tissue paper. If you ever find non-bleeding tissue paper, that's perfect because then you can even use two different colors and you, you have dual paper. But um, I'm not as lucky. I haven't found any non-bleeding tissue, so I always use the same two colors. Now, um, you have to let this rest overnight, probably. So about 10 hours, um, and then you can pull off the sheet. This is dried overnight now. And you're now going to try to get one of the corners off. It's a bit... Uh, sticks a bit to the, the glass, but not much. You've got one end, just lift it off, and pull it off, like so. Now you'll see that one side is non-shiny, and the other one's shiny, which you might, you might see some reflections here, not sure. And now, again, I'm going to mark some squares and then cut them. And this is a 48 centimeter square. And there you've got your double tissue. That's all done. And this is a fairly large square. I can show you two models I folded from that size tissue paper that I made. First one is Satoshi Kamiya's Ancient Dragon. And the second one is um, The Eagle by Han Kuang Nguyen.